Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel guys. If you are new here, welcome and if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do a general message. Let's see what's happening with the soulmates and the twin flames. Now this is a general message, so it might not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who re do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. Now, not everybody is in a soulmate or a twin flame situation, okay? Those of you that are, take what resonates, leave the rest. So I'm going to do the soulmates first and then I'll do twin flames over here. So Spirit, what is the energy here for the soulmates? For my collective, thank you Spirit. What is the energy here? What is the energy for the soulmates? Now, when it comes to soulmates, this can be, it doesn't necessarily always have to be a lover, right? This could be a family member. This could be a friend. Um, for some of you, maybe you met a soulmate, you know, via work. You know, it's different for everybody. But what is the energy here for the soulmates? Thank you. So, first card coming out here is innocence. Okay. Somebody innocent in a situation. It also makes me feel like someone who is very much pure. I'm seeing almost like a white aura. So some of you, your soulmate may even be a divine energy. Um, it's kind of what I'm feeling. Seeing a lot of white. So... Give me a card for the soulmate. What's happening? Thank you, spirit. Someone here may have caused some sort of deception with their soulmate. I'm hearing for someone here that you may be realizing that somebody is your soulmate and maybe you didn't know before. Just one card. Thank you, spirit. What is the energy for the soulmates? I get a card thank you so you have finances and career it says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now and then you have true love at the bottom of the deck so why is this here for the soulmate energy some of you your soulmate may be struggling financially Why is this here? High Priestess. Hmm. Pisces Energy. Page of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio Energy here. So for some of you, is your soulmate a High Priestess? Someone who is very intuitive, a psychic, a medium? I'm seeing something about the moon. Oh, seeing the moon and the sun. Someone who is very balanced. It's almost this energy of someone who possesses an energy of maybe light and dark. Or, you know, when I think of the high priestess and the moon, what I'm actually hearing is someone who can see beyond the veil. Now, the Page of Cups is that energy of maybe admiring someone. The Page of Cups is that energy of looking at somebody or a situation and very much thinking like, you know, it feels like being very drawn to somebody here. But this is my card of, even though it seems like a good idea, it's that energy of when pigs fly. So someone here may be looking at someone and kind of saying, do you know what, I could really see myself with that person here. But maybe someone here hasn't said anything. What is this high priestess energy? The 
yeah, I'm hearing that song from Coming to America. Um, someone here may visualize themselves married to someone or maybe someone just sees someone as maybe wife material or husband material, right? Because I'm hearing that song... Um, When Prince Akeem, Eddie Murphy, is standing at the ceremony and, you know, he's got that kind of guard person and he starts singing, she's my queen to be. What is this? The Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords can tell me that maybe something here is challenging, especially when it comes to communication, okay? The Knight of Swords can tell me that, hey, somebody doesn't want to be left behind and they very much want to kind of you know, run after someone. They don't want something to be a missed opportunity. But what is this page of cups? For my soulmates, thank you. What is this? The Queen of Pentacles, you. Your energy, Virgos. So someone could definitely be seeing you in this high priestess energy. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who is stable, grounded, I want to use the word confident because this woman sure does look confident and it's interesting how she has her eyes closed very connected is what i'm getting and look how she's sitting almost like she is sitting on a throne right the song i was hearing she's my queen to be queen of pentacles can sometimes usually be a wife energy, right? She definitely has that potential. Hmm. Now, what is the... Yeah, it's almost like somebody's hope or somebody's dream. Damn, the lovers and the star card. But you see, we have five of wands and the seven of swords. So again, like I said before... Um, with the innocence card, I, I don't know if someone here is seeing somebody differently or someone here may be regretting um, doing something to someone that was maybe not right. I'm hearing the accused. So I don't know if someone here accused their soulmate of something. But clarify this um, high priestess and this knight of swords. Thank you, spirit. For the soulmates. Page of Swords, Two of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. Someone is very intuitive. It feels like someone here gets their information from a higher source. Now, this Page of Swords could also be saying to me that someone here may be spying on someone, right? What else fell out? The Page of Wands. Yeah, somebody wants to communicate with somebody here. Someone... Could have heavy Cancer Pisces or Scorpio in their chart. What is the High Priestess and the Knight of Swords? Thank you, Spirit. Just two cards. Three of Wands. Yeah, someone's definitely watching somebody from a distance here. Someone needs to make some sort of a choice as well. What is the Three of Wands? But like I was saying, this high priestess and the three of wands, the three of wands can talk about waiting for your ships to come in. But for me, it also talks about being able to see the bigger picture here. I'm also seeing these, even though it's the three of wands, these two tall wands, right? The two of wands. It makes me feel like, especially with the fire on top of them, almost like someone's third eye is on fire. Like someone's intuition is very sharp, very on point. What is the Three of Wands? Queen of Wands, I see turning over. Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Six of Cups. It feels like someone here admires somebody's confidence. Admires someone's, I was going to say powers, gifts maybe, right? With this Queen of Wands. Looks like she's manifesting something. And again, about that fire, but this time it's coming out of her hand. Three of Pentacles talks about maybe wanting to work with somebody, build something with someone here. 
or they're watching you build something for yourself. But with the Knight of Wands and the Six of Cups, maybe someone here is regretting doing something from the past. But again, the Six of Cups, we do know that it talks about soulmate energy. I need one for the Three of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. The lovers. Gemini energy. It makes me feel like, you know what, Cupid has shot some sort of arrow through someone's heart. Someone here could have a tattoo on the top right shoulder. Doesn't have to be. Someone here could have, do I want to say that? Mm, not really, it's not really important. <laughs> what is the Page of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles? Page of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Give me two cards for the soulmates. Thank you, Spirit. We have the Nine of Swords. Oh, so this is very heavy on someone's mind. You know, the Nine of Swords, it talks about anxiety, stress, and worry here. Why the Nine of Swords for the soulmate, Spirit? The Three of Pentacles. What is the Three of Pentacles? Oh, I see the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. What's behind that Seven of Swords? The Five of Wands and the Seven of Cups. It's almost like somebody took some sort of action towards someone, but it looks like it was based on confusion or illusion here with that Seven of Cups. Someone created some sort of conflict here because of some sort of lies, deception, cheating here. I know, I'm hearing take you out. And this man has a knife in his hand. Okay. What is the Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords? For the soulmate energy, thank you, Spirit. King of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be their sun sign. Someone here is very much thinking about maybe what it is that they could have built with you. The Three of Pentacles could also talk about maybe someone here... You know, is having some sort of anxiety and stress about some sort of friend group. Because the Three of Pentacles can talk about working as a team. But the King of Cups, you know, someone here is in their emotions. But they're not expressing themselves here. What is this King of Cups? The Hanged Man. Pisces energy. And I was going to mention Pisces because this man has a fish around his neck. But the hangman is that energy of someone feeling stuck. The hangman is someone seeing a situation or a person from a different perspective. Chariot and the Four of Wands. I feel like someone here wants to visit somebody or they want to go towards someone here. Maybe to make things right with a justice card. It just makes me feel like something that somebody wasn't seeing clearly before, they may be seeing clearly now. But it's like, how do you repair the situation after the damage is done? What are some of the blockages here for the soulmates? Thank you, Spirit. What are some of the blockages here? So we have shadow side. It says moon, the dark night. So someone here was vibrating from a low vibrational space. Why is the shadow side here? I'm also hearing that maybe someone here did something out of revenge. Or somebody just had to go through some sort of awakening. You have transcendence and unity. Oh, okay. So this one definitely wants to come. It says alchemy and ancestry guides. Clarify the shadow side. 
yeah, someone here had to put an end to some sort of, I, I want to use the word toxic here with that shadow side energy. We have cycles, change and completion. And she has a butterfly over her mouth. We do know that the butterfly talks about change, transformation, growth. This could definitely just be a metaphor, but it's almost like I'm hearing spirit saying someone had to wash the muck off of them. So what they're classing as muck, I don't know. You have the storm, which is like the tower. Again, someone here had to go through some sort of awakening. And maybe spirit had to really drag them through a really difficult time here with that tower, right? The tower only comes in when somebody ignores the signs. The tower comes in when something isn't built on a solid foundation and somebody needs to make some changes and rebuild. I'm also hearing that for someone here, especially with that finance and career card out here, that someone here may have done something for money. So greed. One more for the soulmates. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. You have celebrations, gifts, and abundance. And you have alchemy and ancestor guidance. So someone here maybe didn't realize that somebody was actually a gift from the universe. Hmm. Okay. Now someone here is left with decisions. Ace of Wands. Which talks about a brand new beginning, a brand new passionate beginning. Looks like it's going to take someone here to communicate to close some sort of distance. So three cards for the soulmates. Thank you, Spirit. What's the energy here? Okay, what are we getting? Oh, falling in love. Nice. One more. What are we? <laughs> the perfect match. <laughs> At the bottom of the day, look at the sadness. It says time apart. So, we have perfect match. It says you complete each other in the most harmonious way. You have fallen in love. It says sudden feelings that is the one. Sudden feelings that this is the one. Yeah, maybe someone here was in another relationship or... I don't know. Take it out, it resonates. I don't want to focus too much on the past. I really feel like the energy needs to be in terms of focusing on going forward now and making those changes, right? We can keep talking about the past all day, but it isn't going to change anything. We have rekindle. Mm, and we just saw that separation energy right it says an old flame returns just three cards thank you spirit okay so the first one that i am seeing here it does say i know that i crossed the line with you Right? Someone here is realizing that someone is innocent. It says, I feel you even though we're apart. Well, soulmates, right? And then you have, I wish I could take back my words. So we want three to four cards from this deck. Thank you, Spirit. For my soulmates that shared a past life. I'm seeing two images, okay? I'm seeing an anchor, which I believe is about settling, grounding yourself, right? Planting roots, okay? When you think of a ship anchoring, it's so that it doesn't move and it stays where it is. The other thing, I don't know why I'm seeing it. I'm seeing something about a gingerbread man. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, but the, the thing I'm hearing in my head with the gingerbread man song, right? It says, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Hmm. I don't know. Three cards, three to four cards for my soulmates 
that shared a past life. Thank you, Spirit. These cards are very slippery. Makes me feel like someone almost let a situation slip out of their hands or a person. So maybe you still have time to catch this person. I don't know. Any more cards? Thank you, Spirit, for the soulmates. One more. Now, I am hearing whatever comes out in these round cards doesn't necessarily have to be related to you sharing a past life with this person. It could also be related to the situation now, okay? So, the first one I'm seeing here, it says a tormentor. It says bully. It says a flying monkey. <laughs> Scapegoat. It says easy target. So did your soulmate attack you because they thought that you was an easy target here? Hmm. You have a young male. You have the age of Atlantis. You have abuse of technology. Um, oh, oh, spirit, do we want to go there? really not going to be for everybody okay guys but i don't know if your soulmate was trying to cause some sort of accident for you for some of you it may even have been death but this could be in the past life but it's like causing death for somebody but trying to make it look like an accident it says persecution or torture you have the energy of celibate so maybe some of you are celibate right now. What else do we have? Yeah, look at this. We have victim. It says injustice. But it says injustice overturned. So again, you know, somebody really seeing that someone didn't do something wrong here and that maybe somebody attacked someone for no reason. You have... Uh, payback or revenge what did i say about that word i was hearing the word revenge yeah we have lesson here is greed damn look at that death murder <laughs> man i don't know poverty someone here may have wanted somebody in poverty someone here abandoned their soulmate you have informer you have torture, victim again. You have witness, informer. You have widow or widower. You have wife. So maybe you was married to your soulmate in a past life. You have death by childbirth. You have trauma. It says material loss. All right, so we have cowboy. Wild West, you have Settler, this makes me think of the Knight of Wands, maybe someone just did something too quickly or in a haste or, you know, the Knight of Wands is someone that acts before they think. So, you also, there's a lot of cards here that is kind of representing like murder death kill kind of an energy um like i said I, I don't know if your soulmate wanted to take you out here you have executed it says snitch it says execution witness or maybe your soulmate witnessed something here about maybe somebody that was trying to hurt you in some way now again you know i don't know why i'm hearing if this is about the past life, maybe they didn't stick up for you in the past life. Maybe they have to stick up for you in this life. So we have lesson. It says leadership. Again, leadership is about being a leader and not a follower. You have identity. It says sibling. You have love, domestic abuse. Faith, it says atheist. And it says trauma is physical limitation. So maybe somebody wanting you to struggle or, you know, to not have very much or for you not to be independent or self-sufficient here.
One card for the soulmates. So we can move on to the twin flame. Ref oh, rejection. I was going to say reflection. So yeah, rejection. Maybe this person wanted you to face some sort of rejections or maybe they're afraid now that you will reject them, okay? Two cards. Soulmates. Thank you. Can I get one more card for the soulmates? Thank you, spirit. Thank you. So we have... It says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. And then you have embrace. It says, through each other, you will find the missing pieces. Hmm. So what do we have now for the twin flames? Thank you, spirit. Oh, that came out real quick. Friendship. Some of you I'm hearing almost straight away that your twin flame is either grateful for the relationship that you guys already have, right? Maybe you have that kind of best friend stroke lover, depending on who your twin flame is. But I feel like they appreciate your friendship or what it is that you have done for them or something like that. Some of you, you may even have a child or children with your twin flame, okay? So what is the energy here for the twin flames? One card. Thank you, Spirit. So, it says worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. Maybe some of you haven't even met your twin yet. Or maybe your twin is a friend at the moment. You know that energy of, um, I want to be more than friends. So what is this energy over here? For the twin flames, thank you. Why is a friendship card here or worth waiting for? I don't know why I'm hearing the word jealousy. So I don't know. Look at that, Knight of Swords. I don't know, are you mad at the moment with your twin flame? Is it difficult to have communication with them or to have a conversation here? Some of you, your twin flame may be rebellious. Your twin flame could be an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. doesn't have to be. Show me the twin flames. So we have the Empress coming out here. And I did say maybe some of you have a child or children with this person. The Empress energy. Okay, show me more. That is Libra and Taurus, I believe. Why is the twin flames? Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. I was going to say, for some of you, your twin flame maybe is a family member. But show me more, Spirit. Three of Wands. What is this Ten of Pentacles? Thank you. Queen of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Clarify the Empress and the Three of Wands. Because the Three of Wands, it, it makes me feel like someone's seeing the bigger picture again about someone. Um, you know, the Empress is someone who is very abundant, very beautiful. She is very divine. But what is this? Damn, the Emperor, Twin Flames. Hello. Give me one on this Emperor. So we have the Queen of Swords and the Judgment coming out here. And it landed right on top of that Finances and Career card. So it makes me feel like maybe someone's Twin Flame here um, maybe wants forgiveness for a situation here. The judgment can talk about maybe somebody here, you know, making some sort of final decision. You know, the judgment also talks about somebody needing to do some sort of self-evaluation, awakening here. Maybe you spoke some sort of truth to your twin flame with the Queen of Swords coming out here. 
But whatever it is that you spoke to this person about or whatever it is that you said here, it would tell me that it is the truth. Someone here communicated something that was very clear and direct. Now, the Queen of Swords is also that energy where you ain't afraid to cut people, places and things out of your life. So maybe you cut this person out of your life. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And for some of you, it looks like they want to come back. They want forgiveness here for something. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. For some of you, your twin here is in that energy where they're kind of feeling trapped or they're very much all in their head here. For some of you, your twin flame may be kind of in jail or something like that. You know, the Eight of Swords can talk about somebody feeling backed into a corner. It's also that energy of maybe somebody, um, oh, I almost said playing victim here. What is the Ten of Pentacles and this Queen of Cups? Page of Wands. Queen of Wands. Now we've got two queens over here now. Now possibly we could even have three females over here with the Empress, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands. For some of you... Okay. <laughs> For some of you, your twin wants to come and tell you something that you already know. Could be that they have ended a situation with somebody else. We do have the Empress out here. So my Virgos, even you could be embodying these other queens, right? What is the Page of Wands and the Queen of Wands? Now, what I am also hearing with the twin flame energy, for some of you, your twin is seeing that you're on your way to some sort of abundance, right? You could be doing something that you love here with the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. This person may be seeing you as good news. Your twin wants you, for some of you, to put down your guards here. For some of you, I don't know if this is someone who tried to, how do I say this? I don't know if this is someone that kind of very much wanted you to either change some sort of beliefs or something like that here, right? Maybe there's a difference between you and your twin. Maybe someone here is religious and uh, maybe someone is more spiritual because you have the seven of wands in the reverse. It talks about you not standing up for what you believe in. It talks about folding on your beliefs, giving up, giving in, admitting defeat. But we have the Nine of Swords here with it. So I feel like for a lot of my Virgos here, you didn't give up. Like I said, I don't know if you following your intuition, Queen of Cups, is very much leading you to a Ten of Pentacles. I'm hearing for some of you, you're building a legacy. This person may be regretting trying to get you to change your mind about something that you love or something that you believe in. Nine of Swords, anxiety, stress and worry. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, but look at that, at the bottom of the deck, the Five of Swords. Something here was an unwise choice. Five of Swords also talks about somebody feeling defeated. For some of you, twin, your twin, you know, they may be heartbroken that you walked away here. So, give me some cards for the twins. Thank you. You have reflection and projection. So you're only giving back the energy to them that they gave to you. Yeah, you have fate and detours. It says divine intervention. This also makes me feel like a tower moment and we already have that over here. So a lot of lessons being learned here. You have the party and external. For some of you, your twin may have chose somebody over you 
or they just didn't choose you and wanted to kind of explore their options. For some of you, your twin may have, you know, been somebody who likes to party a lot or just didn't want to settle down or, you know, maybe they indulge in things that they shouldn't. Um, maybe for some of you, your twin likes to maybe drink here. What is the reflection and projection? Thank you, spirit. We have self-worth and expectations. Yeah. Maybe you mirrored back to this person of what self-worth is. We have the Empress out here. For some of my twins, maybe you reflected to this person that, you know what, you have boundaries. And if they didn't want to respect those boundaries, then you were quite prepared, Queen of Swords, to cut this situation off. Yeah, now they want to make you an offer. All right, look at that. The next one, union, <laughs> coming together. But there's communication that is needed here. Or somebody needed to see something very clearly. Two more cards. For my Virgos that are dealing with a twin flame connection. What is fate and divine intervention? You have guarded and vulnerability. So maybe some of my Virgos, you're very much closed off to this person. What is the party and external? Hmm. What is the party and external? Thank you, Spirit. So we have Pluto and transformation, and then we have form and structure and solid foundation. I feel like for some of you in a twin flame connection, this person knows that they have to change. But what I'm also getting here is for some of you, your twin flame may see that you have transformed. And like I said, with that Ten of Pentacles energy, you have created or are creating some sort of solid foundation for yourself. You know, the Ten of Pentacles, it talks about long-term jeopardy. And I'm also hearing for some of you, okay, if this person was in another relationship or they, they chose other people over you here, they may be desiring something more from life now. You know, that Five of Swords energy that we saw, it's all fun and games at the time. But in terms of having something long-term and stable, mm, they may be realizing that third-party situations and having all this fun and just kind of being that Knight of Wands energy, it is not going to get them that solid foundation. Where are we going now? Three cards. Thank you, Spirit. For the Twin Flames. Well, look at that. Thank you, Spirit. Come through. Coming out sideways, there's a blockage here. And look what it says. Twin Flame Recognition. Someone didn't recognize that you were their Twin Flame. Give me two more cards for the twin flame journey. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Oh, oh, there's a lot going on here. Someone here has to take responsibility for their feelings here. Someone here has to admit and communicate honestly about how it is that they feel and what it is that they want from this situation. So it says twin flame recognition. It says you know this soul that mirrors your own. That mirrors your own. So maybe you had to expose. Um, how would you say it? It's almost like um, how would you say this? Like you know when somebody doesn't like something in someone. But it's really because 
They don't like them qualities about themselves. Feels like something like that. You have spirit soul path. It says a personal evolution within your relationship. So again, this talks about growth. This talks about change. Transformation. And it's a shame spirit had to come in before this situation or before this person could realise what it is that they need to change about themselves. Yeah, look at this. I'm talking and I'm not even looking at the card. It says material attachment. It says too much focus on visible trappings. So this is someone who is very materialistic. This is someone who goes after what looks good. This You could even be dealing with an opportunist, right? It makes me feel like saying maybe this is someone who chose someone who looked better than you, who had more than you, and you know, that kind of energy, but to realize that it actually doesn't get them anywhere. So maybe they got themselves trapped in a situation. All right. Just a few cards for the twins. Thank you. Okay. Uh, one more. For the twins connection, we have a flipper. So what I am seeing here, it says housework, servant, it says childcare, and it says, this makes me think of someone, I, I almost want to say, for some of you, your twin may even have looked at you as if you were beneath them. Maybe just someone who's just good for staying at home, cooking, cleaning. I don't know. Maybe you was this person's servant in a past life. I'm hearing for some of you, maybe you was even this person's nanny. That's weird. You have this someone here could be from Africa. You have location Africa. You have the trauma is abandonment. So again, you know, this may be someone who has some sort of abandonment issues here, right? Maybe this is someone who leaves a situation before you can leave them kind of a energy. Um, this is you could be dealing with someone who is obsessive. For some of you, this may have been your husband in a past life. You have enabler. It says abused. It says rescuer. It says abusive relationships So whether this person was abusive to you. Or this is someone who suffered some sort of abuse. Um, like I said, whether it's a past life or whether this is just, you know, this lifetime. But maybe in the past. Hmm. For some of you, this is someone who lives in the clouds, if that makes sense. The lesson here is for someone here to have self-love. Right. Like I said, what did we It already came out? To know their self-worth. And I feel like you came to set that example for them with that Empress energy. And then we have, oh, this one's blank. Interesting. Does this mean that you're allowed a clean slate? <laughs> it doesn't have anything on it. Hmm. All right, where are we at? 43. Let's see if we can get one more. For the twin flames, thank you, Spirit. Thank you. So we have coming out here is the Egyptian energy. So for some of you, maybe your past life was in Egypt or something like that here. You have court, you have governor. It says advisor. It says the government. So it's almost making me feel like the energy of justice. So some of you could have Libra heavy in your chart. Maybe. Um, hmm. So you have the lesson here is forgiveness. It says death or suicide. Oh, interesting. I'm hearing that for some of you. Maybe even you took your own life in a past life because maybe this person was very abusive. You have trauma. It says mental illness. You have love, it says separated by distance. You have guru and idol. One card for the twin flames. Thank you, spirit. The 
for some of you, your twin flame could have some sort of sexual addictions with that sexuality card. I just want three cards. Thank you, Spirit. There are girls that are dealing with a twin flame. Thank you. So it says, I want to feel that way again. You have, it's time for me to heal now. Yeah, let go of the past. And it says, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. We had that Nine of Swords energy. So, Spirit, very quickly, give me two cards for my, for my twins. Thank you. So, it says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. And then you have to end this reading, it says, my beloved. It says, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. So Virgos, that is the energy that I've picked up here today, guys. If anything did resonate with you, do hit that thumbs up for me. Or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But Virgos, if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light, guys.